If you get chest pain, what's the first thing that comes to mind? For most people, it's a heart attack. And that makes sense. A heart attack is one of the most urgent, life-threatening conditions a person can experience. But here's the truth most people don't realize. Chest pain can be caused by at least 10 different things. Some are completely harmless, others are serious but treatable, and some are genuine medical emergencies where every minute counts. Knowing the difference could literally save your life or the life of someone you care about. Today, I'm going to break down those 10 causes, one by one. I'll explain what's happening inside the body, how each one typically feels, and the red flags that should make you seek help immediately. And I'll also give you a simple way to remember which chest pains you can get checked within a few days and which need urgent attention right now. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear mental map for understanding chest pain without guessing or googling in a panic. Before we get into the details, here's something you should know. Chest pain is one of the most common reasons people rush to the emergency department or call emergency services. I've treated countless patients over the years who came in convinced they were having a heart attack only for it to turn out to be heartburn, anxiety, or even a pulled muscle. And I've also treated the opposite, people who ignored their symptoms for days because they thought it was just indigestion, when in fact they were in the early stages of a massive heart attack. The challenge is that you can't always tell from the pain alone. That's why having a doctor explain what to look for can be life-saving. And remember, this video is for information and awareness only. If you're ever in doubt, get checked immediately. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Let's start with the most serious and urgent cause of chest pain, the one that gets the most attention, and rightly so, a heart attack. A heart attack, or myocardial infarction, happens when a coronary artery, that's one of the blood vessels supplying the heart muscle, becomes blocked. Without blood flow, the heart muscle begins to die. The pain is often described as pressure, heaviness, or squeezing in the center of the chest. Some people say it feels like an elephant sitting on my chest. It can spread to the left arm, neck, jaw, or back. Often, it comes with other symptoms like sweating, shortness of breath, nausea, or lightheadedness. Importantly, the pain might last for more than 15 minutes, and it doesn't just go away with rest. This is an absolute emergency. If you or someone around you experiences these symptoms, call emergency services immediately. Every minute without treatment increases the risk of permanent damage or death. The second cause is angina. Think of angina as the warning version of a heart attack. In angina, the arteries supplying the heart are narrowed but not completely blocked. The pain can feel very similar to a heart attack, pressure, tightness or heaviness. But there's a key difference. Angina usually comes on during exertion, like climbing stairs, walking uphill, or even emotional stress, and it improves with rest or medication like nitroglycerin. Angina is still serious. It's a sign of underlying heart disease and a warning that a heart attack could be around the corner if nothing is done. If you have symptoms like this, you need urgent medical assessment, even if the pain goes away after a few minutes of rest. The third cause is pulmonary embolism, often called a PE. This is when a blood clot, usually from the deep veins in the legs, travels up to the lungs and blocks blood flow. A PE can cause sudden, sharp chest pain that's worse when you take a deep breath, along with sudden shortness of breath, a rapid heartbeat and sometimes coughing up blood. It can happen after long flights, prolonged immobility or after surgery. This is a life-threatening emergency. If you suspect a pulmonary embolism, seek help immediately. Treatment is urgent and can be life-saving. Next, we have aortic dissection, which is rare but extremely dangerous. The aorta is the main artery carrying blood from the heart to the rest of the body. In an aortic dissection, the inner layer of the aorta tears, allowing blood to surge between the layers of the vessel wall. The pain is usually sudden and severe, often described as tearing or ripping, and may radiate to the back. People may collapse, lose consciousness, or have a weak pulse in one arm compared to the other. This is a surgical emergency. If untreated, it can be fatal within hours. 
The fifth cause is pericarditis. The heart is surrounded by a thin, protective sac called the pericardium. When this sac becomes inflamed, usually after a viral infection or heart surgery, it can cause sharp chest pain. A key feature is that the pain often worsens when lying down and improves when leaning forward. Some people also notice a low-grade fever or palpitations. Pericarditis is not usually as immediately dangerous as a heart attack, but it still requires prompt medical attention to confirm the diagnosis and prevent complications. You've made it halfway. Just a quick request to say that if you have enjoyed this video so far, please do consider subscribing. Number six is pneumonia. Pneumonia is an infection in the lungs that can cause inflammation of the pleura, the lining of the lungs, leading to chest pain especially when breathing deeply or coughing. Other symptoms include fever, chills, cough, and sometimes phlegm that may be rusty or green in color. In older adults or people with weakened immune systems, pneumonia can be life-threatening, so it's important to see a doctor promptly if you have these symptoms, especially with breathlessness. Closely related is number seven, pleurisy. Pleurisy is inflammation of the pleura without a major infection inside the lungs. It can happen after a viral illness or alongside autoimmune conditions like lupus. The pain is sharp, stabbing and worse with deep breaths, coughing or sneezing. It's often localized to one side of the chest. Fever is less common and breathing may feel restricted. While pleurisy is usually not an immediate emergency, it still needs diagnosis because in some cases it can be linked to more serious lung problems. Number eight is gastroesophageal reflux disease or GORD. This is one of the most common mimics of heart-related chest pain. It's caused by stomach acid flowing back up into the esophagus, the tube connecting the mouth to the stomach. The pain is typically a burning sensation behind the breastbone often after eating and can be worse when lying down or bending over. Some people also get a sour taste in the mouth or regurgitation of food. The key difference from heart pain is that reflux often improves with antacids. However, and this is important, if you have risk factors for heart disease like high blood pressure, diabetes or smoking and you develop new chest pain, you should still get checked at least once to rule out a cardiac cause. The ninth cause is musculoskeletal pain. Essentially, pain coming from the muscles, bones or joints of the chest wall. This can happen after heavy lifting, coughing, strenuous exercise or even sleeping in an awkward position. It's often localized and you can reproduce the pain by pressing on the sore area or moving in certain ways. It tends to be sharp rather than crushing, and it's not usually associated with breathlessness, sweating, or nausea. While this type of pain is generally harmless and self-limiting, you should still be cautious if you also have symptoms that suggest something more serious. Finally, number 10 is anxiety or panic attacks. Panic attacks can mimic heart attacks almost perfectly. Chest tightness, racing heart, shortness of breath, sweating, trembling, dizziness, and a feeling of impending doom. The symptoms are caused by the body's fight-or-flight response going into overdrive. If you've never experienced this before, it's almost impossible to tell it apart from a heart problem without medical tests, so you should get checked the first time it happens. Once confirmed as anxiety, treatment focuses on managing stress and learning strategies to prevent or calm panic episodes. Now that we've covered the 10 causes, how do you actually tell them apart in the moment? Here's a simple framework I give my patients. If the pain comes on suddenly and is severe, especially with sweating, shortness of breath, fainting or collapse, treat it as an emergency and call for help. If the pain comes on with exertion and goes away with rest, it could be angina, still urgent and it needs to be investigated quickly. If it's sharp, localized and reproducible with movement or pressing on the chest, it's likely musculoskeletal. If it's burning after meals and worse lying down, reflux is a strong possibility. If it's sharp and worse with deep breaths, think lung-related causes like pneumonia or pleurisy. But here's the truth. No framework is perfect. Even doctors rely on ECGs, blood tests and scans to make the call. That's why I always tell people, when in doubt, get checked. Chest pain is one of the body's loudest alarm bells. It's a signal you can't afford to ignore. 
and while not every cause is dangerous, some are fatal without rapid treatment. The safest approach is simple. If you or someone you're with experiences chest pain that's severe, sudden, or accompanied by other worrying symptoms, call emergency services straight away. For milder or short-lived pains, especially if they're new, get a medical review as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please share it. It could help someone recognize a symptom before it's too late.